Morgen, der Winter. Ja, der. Hey, we're the Hasswells, and we're taking the opportunity to explore our backyard through a couple of road trips through central New South Wales. Starting with this first one, where we're going to be hitting Orange, Bathurst, and the Blue Mountains. This trip features great views, delicious wine, van camping, a famous racetrack, and the world's widest canyon across a couple of episodes. It's a three hour drive to our first stop, so sit back and enjoy the beautiful scenery on the way there. Buddy. Oh. That was pretty cool. Sad to say, but it's kind of rare to see a wombat actually alive on the side of the road in Australia. Uh, they get hit by cars a lot around here. Old English kind of town in central New South Wales. And this is the start of our little central New South Wales stint. We're going to do a bit of a road trip, but we'll have more on that later. Now we might go try some wine in this place that we just found. Is it good stuff? Yeah, fruity. A bit of a it's not really tardy. A bit zesty. I like it. That smell. I'm just not gonna. If I don't drink it, it won't run out, right? This is the town of Melthorpe, which is a very cute little town. Um, we got a little bit of footage coming through, not too much, but um, we got a bit carried away tasting wine and probably most of our plans for the rest of the day are now out the window, but there's always tomorrow. <laughs> We've got to have dinner. Yes, we do need to find some dinner and somewhere to sleep tonight. So. More plans. It's all part of the adventure. <laughs> A bit cold out already. Hopefully, we won't freeze to death tonight. But this is uh, the van that we're sleeping in. This is my touring van that hasn't seen much touring since the old COVID has struck. <laughs> Got um, a bed back there to keep us warm for tonight. Hopefully. Yeah. So is now we're gonna. <laughs> Jesse reckons his jacket's made out of cold materials. So. <laughs> yeah, it is. Anyway, we're going to head to Orange and hopefully find some dinner and shack up for the night and I guess we'll see you in the morning. Find somewhere to sleep, somewhere to park. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Mm. you can see but this is on the way to our campground tonight and it's looking pretty wild up here I wonder what it looks like in the daytime wish us luck our hotel for the night good morning we didn't get much sleep last night as it turns out, you kind of need to park on a <laughs> level on a ground, <laughs> otherwise you'll be rolling downhill all night. And your muscles make up for it all night. 
Last night we were meant to park at a campground at the top of this hill, which is Mount Canobolis. But we booked it in and everything online because mm -hmm. you have Paid to with COVID. Paid the booking fee, got all the way up the road and there was a road close sign and we couldn't get there. So, I mean, we were trying to park where you're supposed to park for once. We have slept in this a couple of times, just in places that you're not meant to. Um, and tonight was another one of those nights. We ended up just parking at the lookout up here, but it's a nice morning view. So this is our little setup. We've got camping toilet in the back there, which makes middle of the night stops a lot more convenient. Picnic set, suitcases and such. And the bed all set up here with my blackout curtains that I made. The van originally came with just some light white curtains and that's just not good enough. So I pulled out my sewing machine and made some blackout curtains. And now it's nice and dark in the morning. Perfect. So what are we going to do today? Uh, more Blaney villages, is that the one? Possibly. Yeah, maybe a winery. But first, coffee. <laughs> yeah, can't wait. Coffee. Here's the view we woke up to this morning. the kind of road that we came up last night which was kind of spooky in the middle of the night I did take some video hopefully you can see what's going on but um, yeah but it was nice and quiet up here so no complaints besides the getting no sleep <laughs> <laughs> we'll work on it for tomorrow by the way the band's name is Austin in case anyone was wondering I doubt they were <laughs> <laughs> and he's called Austin because he was originally bought as a touring van for me as a musician um, and I thought Austin sounded like a really cool touring van name and it will still be used for tours if I'm ever allowed to tour again. Yeah, so it's still closed. This is the site we were greeted with last night after driving up here and it's still there. Who knows what's going on with that automated booking system. Yum! Was it worth the drive to get here? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> if you like museums, there's uh, lots of old stuff. Cool bridge, some really old buildings, um, hopefully some food. But if not, I guess we'll go somewhere else. Uh, Did you see anything open for food? I don't think so. Maybe, no. Okay, so we didn't find any food, but there's meant to be a waterfall near here, so I guess we are bushwalking on an empty stomach after all. Should have got that breakfast this morning. Food is required. We must have food. Well, this little expedition to Karkor and a supposed waterfall that we couldn't get to because of a closed gate. Closed gates might be the thing of this trip. Uh, it's been a bit of a chase of the wild goose. At least this little pine foresty area is pretty. It's nice. Everything's so green, neon. Yeah, we don't see too much neon green around Canberra, so... Almost fake green. Blue road. Well, we did manage to find some food, eventually, in Orange. Had some delicious gluten-free pancakes at a place called Scrumptious. So, um, I think we finally had a win today, and... Now we're at a winery called Heifer Station Wines, and hopefully... The winds will keep coming. <laughs> Ripe stone, fruit, characters, crunchy citrus, acidity. It kind of looks like they're dressed up for an Elvis impersonation. <laughs>
After tasting all that delicious wine, we had a quick visit to the bulls and heifers and then decided to explore the rest of the station. They actually breed Highland Coos at Heifer Station, but unfortunately they were a little ways in the distance and we couldn't see them very well. But we did visit the Funny Farm and meet Tilly the horse and Tom and Jazz the bull goats. As well as the Berkshire pig. We hung out with them for a little while before heading back into Orange. That was just a cool little uh, grocer in Orange that also has a brewery cellar door there, but Jesse wasn't feeling it. Oh, no one was there. I don't really want to be there when no one was there. It's all about the atmosphere. <laughs> exactly. And I couldn't resist getting some orange hot chocolate while I was in Orange. It looks like it'll be good, but probably won't get to try it till we get home. And now we're just going to head towards Bathurst and see what happens. So we're currently on the Mount Panorama racetrack, which is a famous um, racing circuit for the Bathurst 1000 in Australia. And there is a seriously good view around here. There's even a viewing platform there. I'm guessing you're supposed to walk up to that because I haven't seen anywhere to stop to get to it. I don't know if the drivers have a chance to appreciate that view while they're going around here at a bazillion miles an hour. How's the van handling the track? Doing all right, considering. Keep it in second on the downhills. You can't even put it in third on the uphill. <laughs> Had to go all the way down to second just to get it up the hill. It is not built for this track. <laughs> I've done a time lapse of the track, so I put some of that in at the end of this, in case there's any rev heads out here who want to experience it for themselves in a Kia Preggio that barely gets up the hill at all. <laughs> What's your top speed? We get a bit of speed on this downhill. I don't think we're allowed to go over 60. I think it might be a normal local road, 60k zone. Imagine having a spot at that hotel for the race. You can see everything. That's the ticket. Jesse says we need to pull into the pits. How do you get? Head Where do we go? Corner straight towards Panorama Avenue, then turn left onto Pitt Street. And at the end of it, enjoy the Bathurst region and drive safely. Tee hee 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 hee. Hey, I got him. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs>